Okay, in this video we're going to look at a few more green screen effects you could do um, and perhaps using two of them together. So you can see I've got one that I prepared earlier, a nice picture of a beach there with the American flag flying in the foreground. I've also prepared over here a second chroma key effect which is a dragon flying through the air like that. Now, what if we want to use those together? Well, I could start by pulling that on top of the American flag. But when I do that, you'll see that when it plays, the dragon is very, very faint because it's automatically default into a crossfade uh, transition effect. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo that. What I can do is I can insert another video track. So I'm going to go down here, insert video track. You'll see I've got that there. And what I can do, I'll delete the sound because I don't want that. So just right click, delete selection. That'll leave the video in there. And I can move the dragon onto that track there. So let's see what happens when I play that. Go to the beginning and play that. You'll see we've got the dragon effect coming in with the flag. When he gets close though, his wings actually go behind the flag and through them. So we could probably do just with changing the order so that the dragon's on top. So if I delete the audio off the American flag, move the dragon up onto the top layer and the American flag down onto the second one, Let's see what happens with that. So we play the video, and we've got the flag and the beach, and we've got the dragon flying in. Hopefully his wings are going to go over the top of the flag. Yep, that's pretty good. Okay, so you could do that as many times as you want. You can add some more chroma key effects, and you can add some more video and audio tracks, and you can just build it up piece by piece. If you wanted your dragon say a little bit further across to the right, you can go on to transform, and you can just move the video to wherever you want. So, for example, with this video, with the video that I've got selected here, you could move it up, you could move it down, you could move it across, so that more or less was showing and just have a play with these settings on the right hand side until you get something that you like and then when you've finished make sure it's all the same length and you'll find that you've got quite a nice effect and you can build up a number of different chroma key images together at the same time. 